Welcome back. Pato Panji will get a new sewage treatment plant as the existing plant is losing utility. Public Works Department has floated tender worth 7 crore rupees. The work order of the new plant will be issued shortly. After prudent expose on Oire Creek pollution, PWD officials claim the water from the plant is released only after scientific treatment and the biochemical oxygen demand in the creek water is less than 30% and it causes no adverse impact on the fish. On Monday, Prudent had exposed how the Public Work Department is discharging sewage water into Ore Creek, thus polluting the water. PWD officials admitted that they are discharging sewage water into the creek, but only after treating it scientifically. Officials also clarified that percentage of biochemical oxygen demand is less than 30% and it will not impact on fish. The permissible percentage is 30 and above that it will hamper to the aquatic life. PWD admits that the plant is getting outdated. Sewage treatment plant at Pato was built in 1993 by EDC and it was not functional till 2002. Later, government handed over STP plant to the PWD. Per day, PWD is treating 1 million litres of sewage. The existing plant can't handle the sewage load. PWD plans to build a new sewage treatment plant. The capacity of plant will be 2 to 4 MLD. That uh, cost of the plant, including civil, electrical, and mechanical work, including substation and all, cost about 7 crores. And we are also included that uh, operation and maintenance for 5 years. Okay. That work is about 3 crores. So operation and maintenance for 5 years will be done by the agency. Plant will be on the same place. Okay. That system will be demolished. It will take about uh, one and a half year, 18 months. Okay. We have planned to divert the sewage from uh, Pato to the Tonga plant. We will be pumping that to the existing wet well near the Awandi hotel and we will be directing that sewage to the Tonga. So those sewage will be added to the Panjim network and will be treated. Once the plant is commissioned there, we will be in a position to take even sewage from the Mala area. Aquatech Solution Private Limited Pune, Gharpure Engineering Construction Private Limited Pune, and Khilari Infrastructure Private Limited, Navi Mumbai. The three companies that have responded to the STP tender of the PWD, the names have been sent for the approval. PWD has also started the work of underground pipeline from Pado to Mandavi River to discharge treated water into the river. Work order was given to Wipro Construction Panji. As per the PWD's claims, the new Pado sewage treatment plant will be ready in two years. But till then, the fate of the Orang Creek and the fishermen's woos will see no change. Reporter Mayesh Khadi with Vishwanath Nene for Prudent. Members of human rights defenders have raised suspicion in tendering process of beach cleaning. They have demanded tourism department to reimburse around 2 crores paid extra to the contractor. They have also asked for proper deductions and calculations of pending bills and action against the beach cleaning contractors. RTI replies to us proves that the contractors, Ram Cleansers and Bhumika Clean Tech Services have not registered themselves with the Labour Department. We have returned to the Director of Tourism to take three steps. One is to reimburse this extra 2 crores 46 lakhs and 57 thousand of rupees which has been gone extra to the contractors. The second step is that the Director should do the proper deductions and calculations in the further pending bills from February to April. As per our calculations, which we have attached to our memorandum today. And our third demand with the Director of Tourism is that he should take immediate action against the continuance of the work orders granted to Ram Cleanses and Bhumika Clean Tech Services who have tried to fool the people of Goa. It seems unreal, but five-time champions Dempo Sports Club and twice winner Salgokar FC are indeed in real danger of being relegated from the I-League. With three games to play where they face each other twice, Dempo and Salgokar will treat Wednesday's derby clash as should-not-lose type of a match. Coach of Dempo Trevor Morgan and his Salgonkar counterpart Derek Pereira acknowledged the grim situation of fighting to save their premier status. It's crunch time for Dempo Sports Club and their coach Trevor Morgan, who will head into Wednesday's derby to get at least a point. I think it's more of a cannot lose sort of a game, especially with, with three games to go. 
there's still nine points available. Uh, you know, I think we'd love to get three points because it will put us in a, decent, a better position. Uh, you know, but it's no good getting three points against Salgoka and then losing the next two games because it, it could still leave us in a precarious position. So the most important thing is, you know, it, uh, we try not to lose the game. Captain Callum Angus admitted that the boys are feeling the heat. Of course, I think over the season, I think it, it sort of builds up and builds up and, and now there's three games left. There's always pressure, but again, there's pressure for the five other teams that are in the relegation battle. I mean, you can look at the league and you can see that one win and four, four, four points even, you can move right up to sixth place. So we're in a situation where we don't want to be, but there are other, there's another five teams in exactly the same situation. And, and as long as we deal with it the best way possible, I'm hoping for a positive outcome. Sarangar coach Derek Pereira also feels that a draw will not be a bad result. It's it's a you know I mean a situation where uh, we we cannot lose you know uh, only thing we what we can think of is think of getting some points I mean if not three then at least one point and uh, uh, like uh, somehow I don't know we, we uh, at the back we make uh, some silly mistakes and uh, like especially in the last match and we consider that goal that put us down especially when we are you know we are in a situation. Uh, where we fight for every point, you know the whole uh, um, it disturbed the whole team, and uh, you know so. But uh, that's that's past, and we have to look forward to uh, do well in the, in tomorrow's match. Sports editor Niraj Prabhu with video journalist Chetan Gavas from Panji. And with this, we come to an end of this news bulletin. Keep watching, prudent. Take care, and goodbye. Tumi Purita, prudent. You're watching Prudent.